so today we look at ticket and money problems and on the stations on Friday and finished up on Monday. You have seen problems like this. This is just a uh, continuation of those kind of problems and maybe an explanation if you are having issues with it. So let's look at some of these. The ticket club sells a total of 101 tickets to its first play. A student ticket costs $1 and an adult ticket costs $2.50. Total ticket sales are $164. How many student tickets were sold? So this one specifically is asking just about student tickets. And let's say that X is going to represent student tickets and Y is going to represent adult tickets and you can use whatever variables you want I'm just using these two but make sure that you always define them um, and we are told that they 101 tickets were sold in total for this first play now what that means is that the amount of students tickets plus adult tickets has to be equal to 101 because that's how many total tickets were sold and we are also told that a student ticket costs one dollar per ticket and adults cost 250 per ticket and that the total sales of this was 164 so I can solve this in many ways I can solve this using substitution I can solve it using elimination I can solve it using graphing but that would be weird so I'm going to solve it using uh, elimination or I'm going to solve it using elimination here why not uh, so what I would do is I would probably take this first one and I would multiply it by negative one. So I'm going to essentially be subtracting this bottom one from the top one because it's already written in that order. So this would become a negative one X, a negative uh, 2.5 Y, and a negative 164. So that gives me my X is canceling out and I'm left with negative 1.5 y is equal to negative 63 and from here I'm just trying to solve for y and that means I divide both sides by negative 1.5 dividing both of those by negative 1.5 will give me oh hold on pulling up the phone calculator here That'll say that Y is equal to 42 tickets. So that means 42 adult tickets were sold. So X plus 42, because 42 is my Y, is equal to 101, which means that X is equal to 59 tickets. So that means 59, uh, 59 student tickets tickets or 59 tickets because it's asking how many student tickets are sold and that would be my final answer just because it's only asking for student tickets here uh, you could have solved this from in many different ways you could have solved for x very easily and use substitution uh, going that way depends on however you want to solve it next you have 70 quarters and dimes the total value is 13 dollars how many coins of each is how many of each coin is there uh, so here we kind of need to know what it is, how much a quarter equals. And since we're talking about dollars here, I'm going to say that a quarter is going to be our, let's have quarters be our X's just because it comes first in the word problem and uh, dimes be our Y. And if you had switched these up and said X was equal to dimes and Y was equal to quarters, it wouldn't matter. You would still get the exact same thing. But we are told that there are 70 total coins. So again, X plus Y is equal to 70. And we know that the total amount of coins is equal to $13. So the coefficient of X, since I'm dealing with quarters, is going to be 0.25. The coefficient of dimes is going to be 0.1, because that's how much a dime is equal to. You could have also used Q and D. It doesn't matter here. Um, and then we're going to have that equal 13 because that's how much total money uh, it costs or how much total money you have. Now, I'm going to use substitution here just because uh, it'll be easier for me to solve in the end. And I'm going to have y being equal to negative x plus 70. 
So what that means is that 0.25x plus 0.1 times negative x plus 70 is equal to 13. And I have to distribute that 0.1. So negative 0.1x, I'm going to drop down that 0.25x uh, plus 7 is equal to 13. Combining my like terms gives me 0.15x plus 7 is equal to 13. And then I subtract 7 and 0.15x is equal to 6. Now I have to divide both sides by 0.15 to get the x by itself. And that says that x is equal to 40. So that would mean that I have 40 quarters with an s right there. Yeah. And then I need to figure out how many dimes. And a lot of you can kind of already do this in your head and you don't even have to do the math here. Uh, you would just say 40 plus y equals 70. You say, well, of course, Mr. Herb, that means that there are 30 dimes. And if I, w I would want to check this one just to be sure. Uh, and I would say, well, 0 0.25 times 40 uh, plus 30 times 0 0.1. And let's make sure that that is equal to 13. 0 0.25 times 40 is equal to 10. And obviously that's $3. So we're right. Pause the video here, try it on your own, and come back with the answer. So you have now solved the problem. You have gotten 14 nickels and 22 quarters. If you got that right, move on. If not, stick around. That was kind of weird. So X is going to be equal to our nickels. Y will be quarters this time. You know, mixing it up, trying to get dangerous. Quarters. I, I don't know what that's at the end of quarters. There we go. Quarters. So that means 0.05x plus 0.25y is equal to $6.20 because the total value is $6.20. And since our coefficient uh, for our x's is nickel, so our coefficient is 0 0.05. Make sure you put 0 0.05 and not just 0.5. Uh, if you did 0.5, that's probably where you went wrong. And then quarters is 0.25. The total amount of coins is 36. So 36 is equal to X plus Y. And we can kind of solve it from there. Uh, this time I'm going to solve for X. So I'm going to say X is equal to 36 minus Y. And that gives me 0 0.05 times that negative Y plus 36 plus 0.25y is equal to 6.20, or $6.20. Now I'm going to distribute that, and that'll give me a negative 0.05y plus 1.8 plus 0.25y is equal to $6.20. Combining my like terms here, gives me 0.2y plus 1.8 is equal to 6.2. And then I subtract 1.8 from both sides, which gives me $4.40 is equal to 0.2y. So I divide both sides by 0.2. And that will give me 22 is equal to y. And we said that y is equal to our quarters here. So I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to say uh, 22 quarters. If I can spell right, Qu not quarters, quarters. And then I plug that in. And I'm going to plug it in right in this equation because it's already kind of solved for. Right, I already have it solved for x. I don't really have to do any extra solving and I say x is equal to 36 minus 22 which means x has to be equal to 14 so 14 nickels and if I again if I wanted to check here I could say uh, 0 0.05 times 14 plus 0.25 times 22 and let's see if that actually equals to um, 
six dollars and twenty cents. So 0 0.05 times 14 is equal to 0.7, and 0.25 times 22 is equal to 5.5. Adding those together does indeed give me 6.2. So there we go. Sorry, that's kind of a little cramped there, but we have 22 quarters and 14 nickels. And last problem. Try it out. Pause it. Come back when you're done. So by now, hopefully you found that the answer is equal to nine adults and two children. If you haven't, well, you're going to have to watch this video or if, keep watching. If not, then fantastic job. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of you for getting it right and uh, have a great night. But let's set it up. So tickets for children are $15. Tickets for adults are $22. i am going to have X be equal to my adults. And then y be equal to the children. Tickets for a group of 11 people cost $228. So that means that I have a total of 11 people. So the amount of adults plus the amount of children, which is y, has to be equal to 11. Because x is adults, so adults plus children has to be equal to 11. Um, adults tickets cost $22. So it would be 22x plus 15y, because that's how much a child's ticket costs. And we are told that the total that they made there was $228. Now, some of you might want to do elimination here. I think that that would be, uh, you could definitely do that. I'm going to solve it using substitution, though, and I'm going to solve for y. So I know that y is equal to negative x plus 11, or 11 minus x, however you would like to write it. Plugging this in using that substitution method, I have 22x plus 15 times negative x plus 11 is equal to 228. So next, I distribute that 15, and I get 22x plus a negative 15, or I'll just put minus 15 here, minus 15x. And then 15 times 11 is equal to uh, 165 is equal to 228. So I can bind my like terms and I get 7x plus 165 is equal to 228. And then I subtract 165 from both sides. And that will give me 63. So 63 is equal to 7x which means that x is equal to 9. So x is dealing with my adults, so that means I have 9 adults, and I can kind of plug this in right here. Intuition already tells me, or just quick mental math, already tells me what the answer is. Negative 9 plus 11 is equal to 2, so y is equal to 2. So that means that I have 9 children and 2 adults. Make sure that you uh, write down any questions that you may have uh, regarding any of this, so that way you can ask them bright and early tomorrow. Have a good night and bye-bye.